What's up YouTube? It's me, Justin. I'm an opera singer. Today's video is going to be a performance analysis on Mr. Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion singing the prayer. Let's go. Um, Andrea and I had the great pleasure of working with this next lady uh, about 12 years ago and my friend Carol Bayer Sager and I wrote this song for them. And Andrea, maybe you'd like to talk a little bit about uh, before we introduce her, about the song and, um, and Elizabeth, who was your dear friend, and you wanted to dedicate this. But your English is much better than my English. So ah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're Andrea Bocelli, and I'm not, so. <laughs> um, well, Andrea and Liz Elizabeth Taylor had a great love affair together. Uh, I'm not literally, but, um, <laughs> although maybe they did, I don't know. Um, but Elizabeth had such great love as we all do here, for Andrea, and um, he wanted to dedicate this song in her memory this evening. And I want to introduce to you my, I guess my two favorite singers in the world, one of them standing beside me, and this next one, mm. singer, who, I don't know what else to say, except she is the one, I'm Canadian, the one, the only, Celine Dion! Oh my God, that's his best. Celine has such a distinctive voice, right? When you hear Celine sing, you know it's her. She has one of the most resonant sounds, I think, that has almost ever been put on radio. Her sound is so pingy, so resonant, and just so crystal clear. Oh, um, she is really, really good at at doing um, different types of dynamics within a phrase. And she's really, really good at decrescendos and crescendos, just in general. She knows how to really swell a note and really back off of it so, so, so easily. That takes a lot of practice, that takes a lot of courage, and that also just takes trying it and going for it, and then repeating that process until you've mastered it. It really is, too, about a feeling, um, really honing in and believing in the way that it's supposed to feel. She's also doing one of my favorite techniques. I probably sound like a broken record because I've said this in several videos. She's doing a technique where she um, starts and stops the sound without breathing. So for example, and watch us where we go. You hear how I took a little bit of a pause before we and go. No, I took a pause after we right before go. However, I didn't take a breath to sing the last word go. I just kind of stopped the sound. It kind of it kind of makes you lean into into her words a little bit more as she's doing this technique. We lose our way. Lead us to a place Got us with your grace to a place where we'd be safe. La luce. 
shed que tú das. I pray we'll find your mouth. El cuore resterá. And hold it in our hearts. A recordar ti que. When stars go out each night. El eterno estela se. Andrea Bocelli. I've actually never seen him live. Um, I would love to go to a concert of his. He is so celebrated and has um, just achieved so much in his career. It would be really, really awesome to see him live. Um, he's singing in this very like speaky place, which is, I think, really, really useful for the tenor voice. Um, and he's just kind of kind of singing in a place where the the words are at the forefront. He just so happens to have great technique. He knows his voice, and so he also knows how to get the resonance out. Miss Celine Dion is absolutely hitting those, that jump on the, on the, lead us to a plan, guide us with your Oh my God, I gotta figure out. Yeah. Major six? Ah, yes. Oh my God. She is she is doing those uh, major six jumps on your your grace. Ah, oh, so well. Lead us to a place. Get us with your grace. It's so good because you can hear the slightest flip as she's going up to that, it's a C sharp. It's going from an E to a C sharp. You can hear the slightest flip. Even with that being said, the transition from the bottom note, that E, just shoots up to that C sharp so easily, and she's hitting it perfectly every time. That's not easy. It's just, it's literally right on the money. I'm gonna rewind, because that was so good. <laughs> here you know I gotta pause here and talk about some things okay so the two of them together you've got Mr. Bocelli who is a tenor and then you have Miss Celine Dion who is singing in um, her mid to upper range we'll say soprano territory right the interesting thing about these two voice types the tenor and the soprano it's a blessing in a sense there's so much repertoire for that voice um, it's a very celebrated voice and when you master it, it's it's just one of those kind of awe moments, right? The thing about these two voices as well, though, is that um, it seems that audiences and listeners want to hear the extremes of these two voices, particularly the extremes of their higher register, right? That's the kind of the thing that um, people and fans really go crazy for. The demand for the extremities of these two voices is um, just very high. Celine is um, singing, she's using her mid-range, but at the ends of her phrases where she's sustaining 
some of the notes, she flips up into her higher range and she's just got a fantastic belt and mixed voice. Miss Senin, who is singing the higher harmony, and then you have Mr. Bocelli, who is singing the lower, the lower harmony, the lower note of the two notes between them. However, it's interesting because it's almost a trickery, at least to my ear. Even though Senin is singing the higher note, it almost sounds like Bocelli's note is matching her note in, let's say, difficulty, because it actually is, especially when you think of the two notes proportionally to the two singers and registrationally. When he's singing in his higher register, is using his more, let's say, extreme part of his register, that part where it takes a lot of air, it takes a lot of concentration, it takes a lot of breath, right? A good amount of support to not only get to that note but to sustain that note and then you have miss Celine, who is sometimes singing just right in her mid range it's not too high for her you can easily tell she's got many 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 more notes up above these notes that she's singing and for me it's almost a trickery to the ear because my ear is kind of going more towards bocelli's voice even though i'm a soprano because he's using that higher register of his. Let's um, look at the lyrics to this part <clears throat> because this part of the song, they're actually singing together. The beginning, you had Celine singing by herself. Then you had, I believe, Mr. Bocelli. Um, but when Bocelli was singing, they were alternating. And now you have them singing together. Now bear in mind, for Italian, the words in Italian have accents. Some of the words have an actual accent mark on the, on the vowel so you know where the accent of the word is. But that's not the case for majority of the words in Italian. So I'm gonna kind of guess where the accents are. That being said, I might get some of the accents wrong. I'm not an Italian speaker by any means, but here we go. So here are the lyrics. Sogniamo un mondo senza più violenza, un mondo di giustizia, hmm. un mondo di giustizia e di speranza, ognuno di, ognuno di, la, ognuno, hmm. ognuno, no, ognuno di la mano al suo vicino, simbolo, simbolo, ah, simbolo, uh, simbolo di pace e di fraternità. So this translates to, we dream of a world with no more violence, a world of justice and of hope. Everyone gives his hand to his neighbor, a symbol of peace and brotherhood. What a perfect place to have the two of them singing together. There are moments where they're singing in unison and then they break off in harmony, but this overall part of the song is all about a united message, all about coming together. And I love how at this part of the song, the two of them are singing, whether it's in unison or harmony. It does very, very, very well fitting. <laughs> So, so 
Thank you, Celine. Oh! Wow, wow, what an ending. This, this whole song is just all about the drama too. You have these dramatic pauses and then you come in together and the orchestra comes in more forte and then it backs off and you just have just this great climax to the overall song. What a great pairing too to put together for the song. Literally genius. I thought with all that's going on in the world, this was a very much needed message and one that I hope will resonate with all of you. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Comment down below if you have seen either Celine Dion or Andrea Pocelli in concert. Also make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know every time I put up a video on YouTube. If you'd like to keep in touch with me, I'll leave my Discord link down in the description box below, as well as my Patreon. My Patreon only starts at $3 a month and I have some very exclusive perks just for you patrons. Check out my description box if you'd like to book a voice lesson with me. I'll have my booking link that'll take you directly to my webpage. If you'd like to sponsor a video of your own, check out my description box under sponsor your own video. That link will take you directly to my webpage where we will go through the process of getting your favorite artists out on my channel quickly. Lastly, I've started a new channel called Jessica Sichen McKenzie. On this new channel, I talk about travel, self-growth, health, lifestyle, and vlogging. I hope you're able to join me on that journey. I'll leave the link to my new channel right here. I hope you all have a good day, stay positive, and I'll see you soon. Bye!